This is Latan. I'm going to go over and do some uh, PHP My Admin work for you. Um, this is uh, the web based interface for a MySysQL um, system. If people need me to, I will go in later and do a um, Linux command prompt. Um, I do not use uh, the SQL Lite because uh, I'm obviously not running my server on Windows. I can do that if there are requests for it. But once you have my SQL Lite set up, the interface is exactly the same. You'll just do a. Um, I'm going to type down here. Don't. Actually. Let me go to a new tab. Hey, look, it's the MindQuest tab. I'll minimize this so that you can get my form bar. When you've got MySQL Lite installed, you'll just do a local host and then PHP my admin. Um, I'm running off of my server, so I go to my server's address and then add PHP my admin at the end. And that's how I get to my uh, PHP my admin that you see here. Um, I think the most important thing that I need to walk through first off is how to make a backup because it will not fail. You will lose data somewhere along your career of doing any kind of database, any kind of data storage, uh, any kind of computer work at all. You will eventually lose something and you will be mad. So what we do is we come in and we select our MindQuest database. We go back and show. You've got your databases here on the left. And it even says, please select a database. So this interface will more or less walk you through what you need to do. So we select the MindQuest database. We see here we have all of our databases which encompass our abilities. Um, each character has their character name, then their chests, kills, and quests. And then we have classes, your town, which mine is outpost. You have questers. Then you have, this is your breakdown inside your town. It shows your properties in your town. And then you've got your towns, which will list all of the towns and their locations and sizes and then you've got your version information but we are going to come and export our MindQuest database as you can see it has them all backed up or selected which is what we want we will leave it as a default SQL this is your export type I don't want to export it as anything other than SQL I'm going to include the comments and then for your structure just make sure that you have add if not exists, add auto increment, enclose table and field names with back quotes and for data field keep complete inserts, extend inserts and then use hexadecimal for blob. You can leave your file name template alone <clears throat> then you just click on go. And depending upon your browser, it will automatically download it or I prompt you where to put it. it. depends on how you have that set up. So, as you can see, mine says MindQuest and then brackets 1. I've already saved it and it saved it again as brackets 1. I'll go back in later and edit that to show the date that I've saved it at so that I have a history of what I've saved. But, now on to some more exciting things we can go in and click on our abilities and then this will show you all of your abilities <clears throat> so let's look at row number four uh, quick little tidbit you've got your edit everything does have a mouse over in the PHP my admin so we have edit we have delete and then we have our ability list ID so we're going to look at ability list ID number four we're going to click on the pencil and that allows us to edit it 
and what this does is it allows you to put in here um, <clears throat> the name of the of the ability you want this ability list ID to have. So you have your warrior, your archer, your war mage, and your peace mage. Wow, I just drew a blank. And then you've got down here a few of the other ones. I'm not sure what these ones down here are used for, but these four through seven are the ones that we use right now in MindQuest. Then we can go and look at classes. This is a breakdown of every player and their classes and how much XP and their current level as well as their ability list ID. Ah, I understand what it's doing then. The abilities is actually a breakdown for your classes. If you look here, I've got Miner, Lumberjack, Digger, Farmer, My Warrior, Archer, War Mage, Peace Mage. But then, starting at 8, we have Calvin. So back on the abilities, these are the abilities that we have for each character for each class. So there are eight classes. Uh, I'm using classes loosely because Lumberjack and so forth are not really seen as having ability, so they're not truly a class. But that's what all these are for. That's why they all are looking similar. These guys here have the dodge, fireball, heal. Um, Victrix has dodge, power, strike, and sprint. So I can come down here and look at Victrix. Whoops, I meant to go into classes. <clears throat> look at Victrix 3, and voila. He has a level 2 warrior, so he has the power strike and so forth. But in here, if you need to, you can adjust the character's level, um, or class level and class XP. You can come in and look at your player. This is showing the ability they have and what it's bound to. Again, you can go and edit that in here if you need to. It will show you their chests that they have and what town they're in. I don't have any chests yet, so it shows as none. I haven't done any killing since I've updated my database or questing, so those are more or less the standard default gibberish. We'll look at the outpost. These are my um, properties. It shows you their X, Y, and Z coordinates. Your max Z and max X, so your max height <coughs> that you're allowed to build in. <coughs> and then you've got the price. No, oh, yeah. See, this is a this is it. I've been having issues with some of my properties, and I bet you this is why. Um, what I'm going to do here is a bulky race. I have just a couple more minutes on my recording, so I may have to do a second recording to show all this. Um, so I selected my check boxes. These are selecting these four database or properties, and then I'm just going to delete them, and it will come up with a warning. And it'll ask you if you really want to delete, and it tells you point for point what you're going to delete, and you say yes or no. Comes back as a green if it worked, red if it didn't. So as you can see, now I have just a few properties, which were back to my original properties. And I'm going to have to cut this uh, off here and do a second recording so that I get everything. I don't want to rush through because there's a lot here. And I'll be right back.